these are the uh, this is called um, uh, tiny tulips is the color and it's uh, baby sports and we're gonna make it. it has a if you can see it has some green in it uh, pink and a little purple and we're gonna make it to go with these uh, green pants that we made for Barbie so um, we'll get started here we're using the F hook again and we've chained um, 21 chains 21 so we're gonna go single crochet I mean a second chain from the hook which would be one two second chain from the hook we're going to single crochet and we're going to single crochet all the way across I'm sorry not single crochet we're going to half double crochet so let's start that over so used to single crocheting lately okay so second chain from the hook we're going to do a half double crochet you're going to continue half double crocheting all the way across so that's yarn over and go through the loop you have three on and pull through so yarn over, go through the loop, you got three on and pull. Three on and pull through. So that'll be the start of it. And um, you should have now 20 stitches instead of 21. So we are going to uh, do this and we'll come back. This is row one, and we're going to go into row two. So when you do that, you're going to chain two, one, two, turn, and you won't go you you won't go in that where the chain is, but you go to the next stitch, like that, and you'll pull through all three. So we'll do half double crochets all the way across, and um. I think we'll do it just for a couple of rows. Uh, I'll put the rows up here, how many we're going to do before we change uh, and start increasing. So just keep half double crocheting. And then once we get this, uh, these rows done, we'll come back. This is, we've done four rows. And we're going to start over here. We're going to chain two. And this will be the fifth row. We're going to turn half double crochet in the next stitch. And that counts with the um, uh, the first chain. That's two, so we'll count that as two. And then we're going in the next one, and we're going to put two half double crochets in the same stitch. Okay, and then the next two stitches are half double crochets. One, two, and then you'll put two in the next stitch two together one two half double crochets in the same stitch and so that's the pattern you'll do two half double crochets then two in one stitch two half double crochets two in one stitch and then when we get that row done we'll come back and do the next row okay this will be row six we're going to chain two one two turn and you're going to do three double crochets in the next three stitches your chain will count as one so that will be a count of four half double crochets one two three four next you're going to do in the next stitch you're going to do two 
half double crochet, same stitch. Then you're going to do another four half double crochets. It's one, two, three, four. Then you will do two, one, two. All right, and then the next six stitches will be just uh, half double crochets in each stitch. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you'll put a two double crochets in the next stitch two together all right and then count four more stitches half double crochets in the four stitches that's one two three and four you put your last increase in the next stitch will be two together two half double crochets, same stitch. And then you'll have four stitches left. You'll half double crochet in the four stitches. One, two, three, and there always doesn't look like there is one, but it's that chain that we had chained. So you go into that chain and that squares it up. I missed it. It's got to get in that little stitch there. That's very hard to do. Okay. Just kind of find it and half double crochet. And it's starting to increase. And this will make it a, be able to go over the bust a little better. So we'll be back and uh, do the next stitch. OK, we did uh, finished uh, row 6, and we did also row 7. So I'm going to put up here what we did on row seven. We uh, nine half double crochets, and then we did two half double crochets twice, and so we decreased it. There was nine, and then two. Uh, you took two stitches and made it one. Two stitches and made it one, <clears throat> and then we did. Uh, three half double crochets and then we did um, another two stitches together half double crochets and two half double crochets together made these uh, four stitches into two and then um, we um, crocheted the nine there were nine stitches here left so that's nine double crochets, two half double crochets together two times, then in the middle is three half double crochets, and then two half double crochets together, and then nine. That gives us 24 stitches. And then I mark these, and this is, uh, I believe, uh, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, no, it's eight in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I marked them eight in, and that's where the straps are going to go. So if you just do row seven and mark that. And then for the strap, I made a 18, 19 chains, and I chained a uh, a uh, single crochet two from the 
second chain from the hook, you single crochet. So that gives you 18. Then I chained one and turned. Just did one row, and what we're going to do is attach it right here to this and over to here. And this will go over the head. And that way, I'll show you how we're going to do that. So you've got this this way. And then this will go right here. And this will go right here. So it's just kind of a little cute halter top. Then we'll go with the green pants. And so once we get this done, um, I'll come back so I can uh, to attach the to attach the straps. I'll I'll be back to do that. Once you do row seven, then we'll come back and do the straps. Okay, I took this uh, little top um, strap and I attached it. I came in. Um, I believe it was eight. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so between eight and nine, I put this strap. I put it down about the first row, so it kind of the the end of it is right here. In other words, so then I attached it with thread, and then I put it over here also. Same uh, stitches in, and then now I'm just finishing it off, and I'm attaching it with this thread just to make it strong and I went around uh, this side down this side now I'm coming back just to give it an extra uh, strength so if you just uh, can attach these together and then when I came up to the front of it, um, I really made sure that I got it really good around the the this part right here, so it, it's stronger. So I just kind of did that a couple of times there. And then just put a couple of knots in it and it's done. Okay. This will go over, uh, be able to go over the head like that. And then you will put some snaps on the back. So just uh, put maybe two or three snaps, how many ever you want to do. But once you do the snaps, then that's how it'll look. And this is how it will look from the front. And then the pants we've done, and there will be a link to the pants that you can do. So this is the outfit. It's finished and uh, if you like this video uh, please click the like and subscribe button and then we will um, make more videos for you and we thank you for watching.